Hello friends, happy 21st Sunday after Pentecost. Shadow and I hope that wherever you are today that you are happy and healthy. Let's begin our time together today by setting this table. Now during this season after Pentecost, the color we use is green. So our altar linens and cloths are green, just like Shadow's collar. You see Shadow's collar? Green. So to begin by, um, by setting our table here, I have a couple things. First, this cross. And second, this statue of Jesus. These two objects remind us of who we worship and why we worship. Next we have these candles. You always see uh, candles on our altar every Sunday. Remember we have a tradition or history in the Episcopal Church as to which candle we light first. Take a minute and think about which candle we light first. If you thought the right candle, you are correct. Yes, yeah, I would. So we will light our candles today. The right candle is called the Epistle Candle. And the left candle is called the Gospel Candle. If you also have a candle at home, please ask an adult to help you light it. Today, friends, we are going to hear the story, or a story, about the Beatitudes. Now, the word Beatitude is just a fancy word for the word bless. The gifts and the good things in our lives that God has given to us and promised us. So, friends, let's take a moment to prepare our hearts and our minds and our bodies to hear today's story. God in heaven, hear our prayer. Keep us in thy loving care. Be our guide in all we do. Bless all those who love us too. Amen. I thank you, God, for this most amazing day today. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 1 through 10. Jesus saw the crowds who were there. He went up on a hill and sat down. His followers came to him. Jesus taught the people and said, those people who know they have great spiritual needs are happy. The kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Those who are sad now are happy. God will comfort them. Those who are humble are happy. The earth will belong to them. Those who want to do right more than anything else are happy. God will fully satisfy them. Those who give mercy to others are happy. Mercy will be given to them. Those who are pure in their thinking are happy. They will be with God. Those who work to bring peace are happy. 
God will call them his sons. Those who are treated badly for doing good are happy. The kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Hello, everybody. Father Pete here, and I'm super excited to get to talk to you about the Beatitudes. So this is in Matthew 5, verses 1 through 10. Jesus goes up to the mountain, and his disciples follow him, and there's a big crowd too. And Jesus turns, and he starts to preach. And, you know, sometimes we think that um, we have to be happy all the time, and that everything has to be going great, and then we'll, we will see God, and then we'll really be, like, connected and love God. Um, but that doesn't always happen. Uh, in fact, there are a lot of times when we feel cr pretty crummy and lots of stuff in the world is kind of pushing us down. Maybe we're having a bad time in school. Maybe um, we got in a fight with a sibling or, um, you know, maybe people were being mean to us. And, um, and that is actually what Jesus is talking about today. So Jesus says, blessed are the poor in spirit. That's us when our spirit is kind of poor. Um, we're not feeling very good. Um, he said, blessed are those people because for their, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, who are sad. They will be comforted. Blessed are the meek. They will inherit the earth. They will, be, they will feel this connection. Um, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, that they will be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So Jesus is saying, there are these things in our world um, that hurt us. Hunger, feeling mournful, um, being poor in spirit, having people run over you. Um, and he says, let me tell you about the kingdom of God. When these things happen... You can have hope that the kingdom of God is coming to you. And this is what the kingdom of God looks like. It looks like being comforted. It looks like inheriting the earth, feeling interconnected with creation. It looks like being filled with the spirit, receiving mercy, seeing God. This is what the kingdom of God is like being called children of God. So even when life is really pushing us down and we're having a really bad time, Jesus says, don't worry because you will have the kingdom of God. You will be, you will be able to see God. But that's hard to remember and it's hard to believe sometimes when we're feeling really bad. So I want you to do something. Sometimes the world seems like it's full of darkness. And we need to be reminded that Jesus is the light of the world. So, and that light is full of hope and love and restoration. So when you're feeling bad, ask your parents to get a candle, something like this, not a huge one, just a nice small one will do. And you can go into a room and just have this candle lit and just look at it. You can be nice and quiet and notice that even a small candle will light up the whole room. The darkness won't overcome the light. And this is the promise that Jesus gives us in the Beatitudes, that we are blessed, that we will see God. And this is one way to remember. This is something that I do. It's something that a lot of people do. It's a spiritual practice. This light reminds us of God's love for us and that darkness will never be as strong as the light of even a small candle. I hope you all have a wonderful week. I love you. I miss you. I can't wait to see you soon. Bye. God, we thank you for all the people who, that create your holy church for all the bishops, priests, and deacons. Father, we thank you for our president, governor, mayor, and all the who work for our government. We ask you, God, to send your love to those who have died, are sick, sad, or alone.
We pray that God's grace will be with us every day and that the things we do will make him happy. Loving God, we ask you to lift up our own prayers and needs. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Friends, Shadow, Father Pete, and I enjoyed worshiping with you today. We are so glad that you could join us. We hope that you continue to stay safe, happy, and healthy. We miss you all so much. See you next time. Goodbye. Good boy.